Well, good afternoon from Pet Talk TV, and today I'm with Lisa Whelan from Dog Training Ireland in Premier Business Park, Ballycoolan. Now, today we're focused on the day when you bring your little puppy home, and uh, everything's new, and there's a lot of new experiences out there. So, to do this, we, we, we had a number of emails from people sent up to us. So, our first email is from uh, Sean, who is from uh, Cork City, and he is talking about the, the puppy he has. He's a Labrador pup, and it's with him, he has a three days now, this is the third day, and it's been crying solidly for two nights when it's on its own, and he can't get to sleep, and the poor puppy is in a state. So, Lisa, how do we, how do, we do that? This is, it's a common problem that people yeah. have. Um, puppies, getting, they get their puppy and the pup just won't sleep, and obviously everyone needs their sleep, in particular if they're mm. working the next day and, and that kind of thing. So, um, the most important thing here is that we... Um, we, it's no problem to bring the puppy upstairs into the bedroom, okay? But in order to do that, we should actually uh, get ourselves a crate um, or just a, a cage that the puppy can learn to sleep in. And that's important because the reason we want to do that is ultimately we do want to get the puppy back downstairs. Back downstairs okay. But it's just to tide them over for that period of time. Mm. It uh, also is a safe place for the puppy to be. And there's a whole other host of reasons, which we'll talk about later, why you would have a crate for your puppy. Uh, we want to make it nice and cosy, make it great, lovely, great. soft bed yeah. that the pup can burrow into. Um, invest in a hot water bottle or something that can um, have some heat there, which will simulate the warmth of the puppies, the puppies from mother. the litter yeah, or the mother. Um, because that's quite stressful for the puppy having left them. Um, a ticking clock can be helpful as well yeah. to, to simulate the heartbeat. Uh, and it maybe it's just a distraction as well, is it? Or uh, but just is that it, does it stimulate? Does it actually sort of give the puppy the idea that the mother's there, like it's a heartbeat? Yeah, I mean they they they, they they've done some studies on it, and it has shown to help a certain to a certain degree. So it's no harm okay, in putting great. it in there. It's not going to do any harm. Um, but yeah, no problem bringing the puppy upstairs, but in a crate, in a nice cozy you know set up bed for them and then gradually over the days and the weeks you can start bringing the puppy leaving the puppy out on the landing with the door open and then eventually downstairs, downstairs. yeah okay. yeah and then of course he, he'll reach the stage then where he's just too big and he won't fit the crate anymore but yeah yeah exactly i mean when they're small you can invest in a small crate mm -hmm. sometimes people will invest in a sizable crate and then uh, you know that will will do them when they're adult as well but that's up to the that's individual to the yeah okay yeah. And so how long would you think, I mean, if, 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 if Sean, say, he, he goes out now and, and gets that um, crate, are we talking days or would you expect the puppy to start to stop crying almost immediately that night and then... I would expect the puppy to settle um, uh, that night. Oh, that would be a relief to me. Yeah, you? absolutely, because I'm sure that the, in most cases people would say it's when they leave the room that's when they've gone upstairs to go to bed, that's when the puppy actually starts to, to cry. So if you bring the puppy up with you, then it, I would expect it's, it to yes, be quiet because it's got Super. the company of, of the person in the bedroom. Well, that brings us on to our next email, which is from Caroline from Cork and as well and Caroline is talking about um, toilet training her pup that she's been trying and she has the paper down everywhere she she has about six different pieces of newspaper all over the, the room and uh, it just isn't working and she says in it that she has tried rubbing the dog's nose in it and that didn't do any good which uh, doesn't surprise me but Lisa you'll you'll tell us how the best way to go about okay. it is yeah another really common issue that people have is toilet train their puppy it's a priority um, there are uh, the best way to toilet train your puppy is to again crate train them so to teach them to sleep in the crate at night time um, newspapers ultimately you don't want your puppy to learn to go into the to the toilet in in the house at all so by training them to go in the newspaper oh, yeah. Even when you ultimately take the newspaper away, uh, you know you might leave your Sunday newspaper on the ground while you're reading, and he'll go on it later yeah. on as an adult. Or any so, paper, it or could any be, paper, yeah. exactly. So that's, that's, that's you know you've point. put down newspaper mm. to put your mucky boots on, and next and thing your your dog is peeing on it. So yeah. so really, it's much better if we um, start as we mean to go on, um, and crate train them so that they always go to the toilet outside from the very beginning. Um, the reason we use the crate is because a crate uh, confines the puppy and it's their bed and they naturally want a toilet away from where they sleep. 
So if we can find them in their bed at night time, it teaches them to control themselves. It teaches them um, to hold on. Uh, yes. And then you can let them out and immediately open your back door and bring them outside to go to the toilet. Okay. Now the other thing that we need to do is to reward them for going to the toilet outside. So the best thing to do is to have a little Tupperware thing of treats just at your back door. So you come down uh, in the morning time, you open up the crate, you open up the back door, you grab your treats and you go outside with your puppy. Okay, close the back door behind you so they can't run back inside. And as soon as they start, you'll see them starting to sniff start, start around coming, yeah. and yeah, okay. you'll know that they're about to do it. You introduce a word like toilets, wee wees, be clean, something like that. And as they're going to the toilet, you just say that word and immediately when they're finished, give them their little treat. And they'll create the association between going, going and the word and getting their treat then. So just on that subject, uh, at that point, um, I know some people say, okay, wee wees are, are clean, clean. But what you're saying is when, wait until he, he, he starts to go and exactly. then say it. So yeah. he'll associate the two together as opposed to trying to say, you know, okay, yeah. toilet, toilet. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Okay, that's it. Great. It's very great. important because people will say yeah. it when the pup has gone off sniffing something and they're not about to go to the okay. toilet, you know. So it's important. The timing is important. Um, the other thing is that the comment there about putting the nose, nose in it. Yeah. Um, it's not appropriate to do that, uh, firstly from a hygiene point so. of view, and then also it serves no purpose no. in terms of training oh, them, I, okay? Um, yeah. yeah, and you, you knew that imagine. yourself. Yeah, exactly. So it's an old wives' yeah. tale that kind of has, has kind of hung it. around, and Great. sometimes people think to do it, but it's not going to be helpful. It can also create a fear-based response. The puppy won't want to toilet in front of their owner as well, which is something we don't want to do. And the other thing is that if you do, if they do have an accident, you always have to think about that that's your fault, that, that they had the accident, because you weren't aware, you weren't watching them, um, watching to see when they wanted to go and bringing them outside. So never punish them for going to the toilet inside. You say, right, well, we got that one wrong and we'll get we the next one next right. Time. Exactly, yeah. And what about, you know, when uh, during the day or the evening when the pup's around the room and um, before he's gone to bed and, uh, you know, and you see him, and, and I know from my own pups and you'd see him, he's trying to make shapes and all that and yeah. squat and then you grab them but what, what's the best way of in advance because you've been training the word toilets or wee wees whatever yeah. it is and um, if you see that with your puppy you're like oh do you need toilets and run with them open the back door out. out you go grab your treats that are always there at the back door okay. and you close the door and you go out with them and they're like oh yeah toilets yeah. this is what <laughs> it's about like so yeah. you go back in and you don't yeah, want to go to yeah, the toilet again. yeah but well, what about you know the, the in the evening or the after or the, during the day whatever the puppy's around and he's on his own in the room we mm, say and mm. if he goes is it is it that's it that will happen will it when you uh you you do as you say you train him and so he'll he'll just learn to hold on it, they do learn to hold on now ideally with a young puppy if you're if they're not supervised they should be in the crate so now really you don't want to leave a pup in a crate all day and all no. night that's not what i'm saying but they should be, you should be watching them, making sure that they go to the toilet first thing, that then you're bringing them in and out every one to two hours when they're young. Um, and in addition as well, when you get them when they're only eight weeks, they can't go a full night. So it does mean three to four hours into the night, you do have to wake up and, and let bring them, them bring them outside. Bring them yeah. Okay. So that would, could last for two to three weeks. So it is... So often yes. people describe it as like having a small baby, yeah. Yeah, yeah, toilet training them. But if you do it that way, it's effective, it works, yeah. and it's done then. So that's it from Pet Talk TV for today. So if you have any queries or emails, please send them to paulkellyvet.com. So that's it. Thank you, and see you next time.